The seven-member panel of justices presided over by Chief Justice Getru Tokonu held that Parliament approved recommendations of the Prof. Intiamwa Bedu-led Committee on Emoluments regarding the first and second ladies was inconsistent with provisions in the Constitution since they can't be classified as Article 71 of its holders. Kwame Bafo, among other reliefs, was seeking a declaration that per Article 71, 1 and 2, the positions of the first and second ladies of Ghana do not fall under the category of public office holders. A declaration that, per Article 71, the Emoluments Committee is limited to recommending the salaries and other benefits and privileges of only public office holders. The fourth relief by Abronye, which was praying the court to declare that Parliament cannot on its own accord initiate or approve payment of any such emolument, which would necessarily be paid from public funds without a bill to that effect emanating from and introduced by the government and duly passed into law, was however dismissed by the Apex Court. Lawyer for Kwame Bafo spoke to the media. I'm happy, not just because I was the counsel who came before the Honourable Court, but also the fact that I'm a citizen of the Republic and the rule of law has been upheld in this instance case again. That is also giving us the assurance that the Constitution is still in force and it's been upheld by the, the judiciary and I'm, I'm very, very happy very much about that. The Bono NPP chairman, Kwame Bafo, expressed satisfaction with the court's judgment. I was surprised to hear that Parliament has adopted the recommendation that first and second ladies should be added to the position I assume they are the deputy ministers. That is why I filed the suit and hopefully the Supreme Court has uh, said that Parliament exceeded the adjudication. They don't have that mandate to add unless that particular provision which is a, an intent provision be amended then it's a, something that we have to amend it through referendum and parliament cannot do that despite filing similar reliefs ndc member of parliament for south dai roxon nelson defemek was all but one relief was dismissed chief justice tokonu explained that his reliefs focused on the recommendations of the Professor Yah in Tiamwa Bedu Committee, while that of Abronyas focused on Parliament's action. With this unanimous decision by the Supreme Court, it means that henceforth, unless you are an Article 71 public office holder, you are not entitled to any salaries, benefits, or emoluments. Lodi Rasari, TV3 News, Supreme Court, Accra.